Greetings and welcome to Living Supernaturally. Thank you once again for giving us this opportunity to spend a few moments to ponder on God's word and pray together. Full restoration. Luke chapter 15 was 17 through 24. But when he came to himself, he said, How many of my father's hired servants have bread enough and to spare, and I perish with hunger? I will arise and go to my father and will say to him, Father, I have sinned against you and before heaven, and I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me like one of your hired servants. And he arose and came to his father. But when he was still a great way off, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. And the son said to the father, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in your sight, and I am no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father said to his servants, Bring out the best robe and put it on him, and put a ring on his hand and sandals on his feet, and bring the fatted calf here and kill it, and let us eat and be merry. For this my son was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found, and they began to be merry. Our Lord Jesus was known to be the most colorful storyteller, sharing and creating some of the most beautiful parables that painted a picture of truth and grace. The parable of the prodigal son is one of the most famous parables from the New Testament. What is grace? Grace is often defined as unmerited favor or unearned favor. The depths of God's grace is startling. He is not a reluctant forgiver. God is eager to wipe the slate clean of sin and fully restore us as his children. The parable of the lost son, everything that the father does from the moment he sees his son is a clear sign of not only forgiveness, but complete restoration. The robe, the ring, the sandals, are signs of full restoration to the family. The son will not become a hired servant or a worker, but he will come back as a son into the family. He will live with the father as a son and will inherit the privilege of being part of the family. The father running to his son, greeting him with a kiss and ordering a celebration is a picture of how the Heavenly Father feels towards us for sinners who repent. God greatly loves us, patiently waits for us to repent so He can show us His great mercy because He does not want any one of us to perish. The guilt and the shame of our childish rebellion was all transferred to Jesus on the cross. The Lord Jesus provided a way out for us. By His suffering and death for our sake, we are offered forgiveness. You and I can enter His presence with this full assurance. Let's pray. Father, we thank You that You restore us completely as Your children. I pray, God, that nothing will stop us from repenting and coming back to your presence. And I pray, God, that your Holy Spirit will convict each of us, even as we hear this, that our hearts will be turned to you, that we may return to you as your children. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.